Well then, after yesterday, I'm sure a lot of you guys were curious as to what I thought about boats. If you were on the stream, I was very, very excited to play Destroyers. I had some issues getting onto the server. It took me about an hour and a half. Stream started getting really laggy for people. It was my internet was getting throttled, something like that. Um, and I, I, I became extremely angry, extremely salty, as we can say in modern terms. I blamed it a lot on boats. I said that they were shit. It's not all true. So I figured I'd give it another go. Now, boats are cool. Destroyers are cool. And I think that Gaijin's going in the proper direction with this. I'm going to get the good stuff that I think is good about boats as is out of the way. And then we'll talk about things that I think need changing for this to be a successful game mode. So the first things, the water looks great. And the boat models look great. These destroyers look fantastic. You can see me constantly looking around them when I'm playing. They look great. I can't complain. It's fantastic. Now map design, uh, it's kind of shit, but how are you going to really make map design um, that great when it's designed for just boats? It needs to be a level playing field somehow, and it's all water anyway, so you can't really make anything too crazy. All right, that's about it with the, the real good stuff. Um, let's have a discussion on what needs changing for me to think that this is going to be a worthwhile game mode in War Thunder. The first thing is, I understand that this is for testing, so we're not going to talk necessarily about the game mode, because the game mode is not that fun. There's cargo ships, they don't move, they're stagnant, you have to kill them to win the game, you get a couple spawns. It's just to test damage models and ship models, in my opinion. Okay, so how are the damage models and ship models? Well, I like how they get destroyed. I like that you can ammo rack people. I do it in this replay. I don't know if I'll get to see it because this is a very, very long game because boats go on forever. Now, this is a second point that I have is boats are going to be inherently more boring than tanks or planes, less action packed. That's not to say that I don't enjoy this type of gameplay every now and then. I do like World of Warships and it gives me a similar feel to that. Only, these are the smallest ships in World of Warships, and this is, out of War Thunder, the, <laughs> the slowest gameplay ever. So, if they are to add capital ships, they would take forever. I do still think that they should add capital ships, though, seeing how this works. I think a map like this with, uh, hell, a Bismarck in some... I, I don't know how they could do it. Maybe a power-up or something. I would be very ecstatic to play a Bismarck in this game, especially with how good this looks. It would be phenomenal and super fun. All right, so game mode aside, aiming is the biggest issue of this mode. How they decided to make the aiming, it's just a poor decision, in my opinion. I think it's just terrible design. It, it's not... It's not skill-based, it's RNG-based aiming. You kind of just point in the direction of, a, of whatever you need to shoot at and pray to God it hits, because there's no elevation aiming. There's no skill involved in it. You're not guessing where you're shooting. You're just kind of aiming and maybe guesstimating for lead. And then you're praying to the Gaijin gods that you hit an ammo rack or you hit something that sets the ship on fire. Which is sad. It's, it's sad that it works that way. I would like to see some sort of elevation-based game or some type of elevation-based aiming implemented down the line. Kind of how we have tanks. You have to aim with your mill sight. Something like that for ships. You can still use the bino mode, but I wish we had to guess range and adjust for the range as well. Maybe some type of, you know how the arty munition works where there's like a circle on the ground where you're going to drop the arty if there was some type of thing like that there was a circle in the water where you th where your rounds are possibly going to hit even even that would have a better indication and if a ship is sailing left and right then you might have to aim closer or farther away guessing where they're going judging on how far away they are because right now it's it's very piss poor it's, it is just rng based and i think that's my biggest concern so on top of the fact that the game mode is boring and the destroyers are slow even though they're fast they're slow it's just kind of pretty bad the, the aiming is bad and now on top of the aiming 
flat guns. Why can we not aim flat guns? This is, this is curious. Maybe we can. Did I, maybe I missed the memo. Maybe uh, I don't know. But from what I know, playing destroyers, I can only aim my main cannons. I couldn't aim my flat guns that I had on this destroyer. I don't know if that's because I was wrong. I don't know if I could set them up prior to the match starting or something like that. Somebody may have said that in chat yesterday. But regardless, I still wish I had to aim up and shoot at planes. I think that that would fill time while I'm going in to, you know, kill other ships. It would make it less boring, less of a just drive fest and shoot from long range and possibly hit something. So I think those two things are the biggest problems right now holding ships back. I think that the aiming is way too RNG based. It's fun, and I think the the smaller ships are even more fun than destroyers right now just because of how fast they go. And I don't think it should be that way. I think that every ship should feel fun in its own right. And I think destroyers are just, they feel sluggish, they feel slow, and they're, you're not, you, all you're doing is aiming these main cannons. Like, the entire game I'm shooting 130mm Russian naval guns at just random objects. It, that's basically it. it. It gets very stale fast. And like I said, I'm not going to blame the game mode because I understand it's just used for the purpose of testing. But in the future, if they're going to listen to me at some point or maybe uh, listen to what I have to say, I think a full-on game mode with objectives and moving targets and fleets would be way better for this style. Maybe make one of the teams have to play coastal defense boats and PT boats and stuff and one of the team gets a couple destroyers defending a fleet. Make it so it's very intense combat, very pirate-esque, very up in your face. Even if it doesn't necessarily represent a realistic, rep like you know, realistic naval battle, um, it will be fun in the moment. This engine is too good. The ships look too good to go to waste at this point, and. I feel that way. I honestly feel like that I really want them to make this work because whoever made these ship models put so much effort into it, they look beautiful. And I would really hate to see this sink, <laughs> excuse my pun, because of design flaws uh, in the engine and in how they decide to go about it. Uh, so something that not a lot of people have mentioned, but Croc has mentioned to me a couple times, is tanks when they first came out were pretty shit. And they've done a lot, and now tanks are my favorite game mode. So obviously, through the development cycle, things get a lot better. And I have hope now. Just because when you play them, it, although the gameplay is stale, and I got salty about it because of the stream and whatnot, there is something here, and I can recognize potential. When I see something that can be good, I notice it. And I think that this has potential. They just need to tweak some of the stuff. If they fix the aiming and make it more skill-based instead of RNG, they have a recipe for a fantastic game. Because the problem with World of Warships is it is RNG-based. You can hit a guy with a full salvo of your battleship rounds, and sometimes they just don't do anything. And that's what sends the good players off of a game. That's what turns really good players off, is when they can't control their actions in a video game. Could you imagine in Call of Duty if every fifth headshot just didn't kill somebody? There would be no professional league. And I'm not saying that this game has to be professional, but what I'm saying is the people who really enjoy winning, who really enjoy doing well in games, who really enjoy bettering themselves, when there's that small chance of RNG, it really ruins the taste. It ruins the overall flavor of the dish, if you know what I'm saying. So if they can fine tune how that works, and fine tune how the aiming works and make it skill based, make it based on people's knowledge of distances and knowledge of enemy ships and anatomy, then the game can work wonders. And I can see it. I can see it working wonders. I just don't know how they're going to reach that end goal. So I think that's about it. That's all I have to say for ships. I probably won't be showing any more gameplay. Maybe one more live gameplay tomorrow. It depends how this video does. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Think about what I said. Uh, give me some feedback. If you guys are new to the channel because you saw I posted a boat video and you've never been here before for some reason, think about hitting the subscribe button. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Not on the seas, though.
see on the battlefield because I'm getting seasick. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Better pill keep throwing you back. Nothing but empty sugar, no, I just crashed. Tongue got me.